we are asked to multiply the given rational expressions. We multiply rational expressions just like we multiply fractions. We multiply the numerators and denominators. However, we do want the product to be in simplest form, and therefore we often simplify out the common factors between the numerators and denominators before multiplying. Looking at our first example, let's write each monomial as a product of primes. The prime factorization of eight is two times two times two. Let's write eight x as two times two times two times x. The prime factorization of 15 is three times five. Let's write 15 y as three times five times y. And then we have five y over 12 z. Five y is equal to five times y. The prime factorization of 12 is two times two times three. Let's write 12 z as two times two times three times z. Now we'll simplify out all the common factors between the numerators and denominators. Notice here we have two common factors of two, and therefore two divided by two simplifies to one here as well as here. We also have a common factor of five here. Five divided by five also simplifies to one. And then finally we also have a common factor of y, y divided by y also simplifies to one. Now that we've simplified out all the common factors between the numerators and denominators, we can multiply and know the product will be in simplest form. In the numerator we have two times x, which is two x. In the denominator we have three times three times z, which is nine z. The simplified product is two x over nine z. Next we have x over eight times thirty-two over the quantity x minus four. Instead of writing out the prime factorization of eight and thirty-two, if you recognize the greatest common factor between eight and thirty-two is eight, let's leave this denominator eight and let's write thirty-two as eight times four. This gives us x over eight times, again thirty-two is equal to eight times four, divided by the quantity x minus four. And now simplifying, notice how we have a common factor of eight between the numerator and denominator, and eight divided by eight simplifies to one. Now it may be tempting to try to simplify the x's here, but we cannot simplify here because we cannot simplify across addition or subtraction. And for the same reason, we cannot simplify the fours here. So now we multiply knowing the product will be in simplest form. In the numerator we have x times four, which is four x. In the denominator we just have a factor of x minus four. This is the simplified product. I hope you found this helpful.